act of worship. Al-Imam Al-Hafid Ibn Hajar, he said, and also hate for someone or your brother hates for himself for the evil things is part of the Iman as well. So what is love for the sake of Allah? What is the real meaning? The real meaning is loving someone for the sake of Allah comes into two ways. It comes from the heart and comes from the action. And comes for the heart is you have to love for someone for the sake of Allah because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gave him some of status knowledge or honor like the prophets we love them because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them this honor the, the honor they have Allah gave them so because we are loving them Allah gave them this status and also from the action we love this person to help him to help for the sake of Allah not only loving from the heart and also is a part of Iman to help him that's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said the Mu'mineen مثل المؤمنين في توادهم وتراحمهم كمثل الجسد الواحد. The believers are like one body. If one part of the body has a pain and has a illness, and all other part of the body affects, so same thing. So when you you feel the pain of your brother. It is because you love him. If you love someone for the sake of Allah, what is the benefit you get? The benefits you get are many benefits, but we're going to mention a few of them. You will find a taste, taste for sweetness of Iman. The taste of Iman you will find in your heart. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said three things, is three qualities if the believer have it will feel the taste of Iman. The first one is you love Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more than anyone else. Number two you love someone for the sake of Allah. You don't love him for any other reasons, only for the sake of Allah. And the third one is to return to kufr, disbelief. Likewise, someone hates to be thrown into the hellfire. These three qualities, if someone has it, he will taste the, the iman in his heart. That's number one. Number two, the benefits we get to love for the sake of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the day of judgment, He will place us in His shed. Listen to this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ain al Where are those who used to love one another for my sake? Today, I will place them in my shed. I will put them in my shed. There is no shed except my shed. And this is, imagine when you are sitting in a hot place and you need shed and I think in this world when you are in that situation you will want to have a shed you will want to have a place a nice cool place and then think in the day of judgment it's going to be more severe so let's prepare 
for this moment to gain this type of action to get the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thirdly if you love for the sake of Allah Allah will love you and he will place you a high rank with him subhanahu wa ta'ala listen to this hadith Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said a man visit a brother in faith for the sake of Allah then he, he, he went to visit another brother in another town while he's walking the angel came to, to him in the form of of man and then he spoke to him he said where are you going then he said I'm going to visit this brother he asked him because you visiting him he done something favor he said no he didn't do any favor I'm just visiting him because of the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the angel said to the person I am angel I am message a messenger I give you a message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you because I am a, I am an a, a angel Allah sent to me to you so by loving someone for the sake of Allah you will gain Allah's love and Allah will place you highest rank and then how can we love someone for the sake of Allah we have to be patient with them we have to uh, help them when they need when they need you in the time of in need you help them that is the way you love your brother in Islam and for the sake of Allah lastly if you love someone you have to tell them if you tell them then Allah will love you and you will get the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said if any of you loves his brother he should he should tell or he should inform him and he said I love you for the sake of Allah so dear brothers let's let's act with this uh, a beautiful act of worship and help others to get all this the benefit we mentioned and there is many many benefit for that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ibad Allah sallu wa sallimu ala man amarakum bis salati wa salam alayhi faqala ta'ala إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه صلاة دائمة إلى يوم الدين وارض اللهم عن الخلفاء الراشدين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن سائر الصحابة أجمعين وعن سائر أصحاب نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أجمعين وعن التابعين وتابعيهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعنا معهم بفضلك ورحمة ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين Ya Hami
من القرآن قد خصك الرحمن بالفضل والتيجان والروح والريحان يا حامل القرآن قد خصك الرحمن بالفضل والتيجان